Strong winds and hail hit hard as another storm moves into San Diego County. And it's a whiteout in the mountains as snow turns some areas into a winter wonderland. We're live with team coverage and we're tracking more rain moving in tonight. ABC 10 News at 6 starts now. The storm hit early this morning with heavy rain and flooding. Those conditions causing a semi to jackknife on the 805 in the North County. Good evening. I'm Kimberly Hunt. And I'm Steve Atkinson. That storm gave way to brute force winds powerful enough to beach this boat at Coronado. Pieces of that boat were found littered all, all along the shore. Our team coverage tonight begins with our ABC 10 News reporter Jennifer Kastner at the OB Pier already closed after it was damaged two weeks ago. The winds out here in Ocean Beach tonight have been incredibly intense. Even trying to stand up has been difficult because we keep getting knocked over by the winds. There's a few people on the beach brave enough to be standing out there tonight. And then look at those waves, those massive waves. This is very high surf. You can see those waves crashing against the pier. The pier that remains closed tonight after it was badly damaged about two weeks ago from the very high surf. Intense winds after a fierce winter storm hit the county hard overnight, bringing blustery conditions with heavy downpour and snow. Along the coast, massive choppy waves pounded the beach. After sunrise, hail fell in San Carlos and other parts of the city. Extreme winds caused gusts of up to 60 miles per hour, bringing down a tall palm tree in Kensington this afternoon that narrowly missed cars and homes. A giant eucalyptus tree crashed across lanes along North Torrey Pines Drive earlier. Crews had to chop it up to get the street reopened. And in Spring Valley overnight, a tree toppled over on cars that fortunately didn't have anyone inside. And in OB, a tree crashed down on a parked car. That intense wind also causing this carport to collapse onto about a dozen cars in Point Loma. A tree fell on the side of the roof, causing it to crash down. Some neighbors said the sound woke them up. I was asleep and uh, it sounded like sounded like ice falling off a building, like continuous like ch -ch -ch -ch. I just feel terrible for the people whose cars just got crushed by this. There were no reports of any injuries. And crews are expected to be out here sometime this week to start surveying the damage on the pier. Reporting in Ocean Beach, Jennifer Kastner, ABC 10 News. And now we bring in our meteorologist Angelica Campos from the coast of the mountains in the desert. There are several warnings and advisories in place tonight. She's also tracking more rain headed our way this evening. Angelica. Hi, Steve. The most powerful system of the season. There's even thunder snow right now. So let's take a look at the satellite and radar. I'm going to put it in motion so you guys can see. We've had a couple of thunderstorms already this afternoon in Oceanside, also in Poway, and now near Mount Laguna right there on the 79 and north of Pine Valley. So there's a little bit of mixing going on on the 8 in the Pine Valley area. We've had over an inch of, of rain, but now it's been more of a mix of rain and snow, and even areas like Alpine could see a wintry mix. So here's what's happening right now. This is where we have some of the uh, thunder snow that's coming down. Obviously on radar, you can see that it is um, actually snow that's coming down, but it is heavy and is going to lead to some slippery conditions on the road. And a winter weather advisory has been issued because of the potential for winter weather all the way down to 2,000 feet, and that's basically the elevation in Alpine. In Ramona, we could see that too, including most areas on the 15 to the east in the mountains is a winter storm warning in effect until 10 p.m. Elevations over 5,000 feet could see another three to six inches of snow. So there's been a lot of snow on the ground. Some of the accumulations, Polymer Mountains, seven inches, Mount Laguna, also right around eight inches of snow so far. Even Julian, four inches of snow as of five o'clock. So we'll have to see if we have any new reports. Continuing our coverage, communities such as Julian are used to it. But you heard Angelica just mention that Alpine could see rare snowfall tonight. ABC 10 News reporter Anthony Pura is there live. Anthony, some people say they're looking forward to it if it happens. 
Kimberly, like you said, they don't see snow falling here in Alpine very often, and someone told me it would be pretty neat to see that. Now we've seen a lot of rain today, and we've seen some very strong winds. It's very windy right now. You can take a look at that branch over there just whipping in the wind, but so far no sign of snow. Here's what we have seen this afternoon, though, a very cold gray day in Alpine. There was some hail that fell for a few minutes this afternoon. It was also very gusty, signs that strong winds had come through the area as we saw some broken branches. And as far as snow, Alpine residents say it would be very rare for them. I live high elevation, so I got I got a little bit, but as far as snow, snow, it's been a few years. I'm excited if we get it. I just don't want it to keep raining and raining, creating a bunch of mud and stuff like that. Snow would be cool. And just a few minutes east of Alpine near Pine Valley, this is what it looked like there. Plenty of snow on the ground that families had enough to make snowballs and bring their sleds up. It was also much colder and much windier up in that area. But here in Alpines, the winds are still howling and the temperatures are continuing to drop tonight. We're reporting live in Alpine, Anthony Pura, ABC 10 News. Anthony, thank you. Snow in San Diego County is often limited to our mountain communities, but measurable amounts have fallen within the city itself. Uh, YouTuber P Hicks, he shared this eight millimeter film with us showing the snow coming down in College Grove. This was back in 1967. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration says this happened back on December the 13th when it also came down in neighborhoods such as North Park, Claremont and Mission Valley. Snow has fallen at the county's low elevations at least 10 times, but only three of them are considered official. We've shared this entire video on our social media pages and have used NOAA records to put together a timeline of snow in San Diego. You can find it on our website at 10news.com. Today's storm also forced the vaccination superstation in Petco Park to shut down. It will remain closed through tomorrow morning. The county will keep an eye on conditions to decide if the closure needs to be extended. The county says people who had appointments today will be rescheduled for Thursday. You can check the reschedule appointment in your UCSD MyChart and all other vaccination sites remain open. All regions effective immediately are no longer in the stay at home order. The San Diego restaurants and gyms, they can once again open outside only. This morning, California Governor Gavin Newsom lifted that regional stay at home order, essentially putting us back in the purple reopening tier. The county addressed this sudden change this, just this afternoon. Our Laura Acevedo uh, spent time with the county and a lot of time they spent today explaining what's going to happen here, Laura. Yeah, Stephen, the purple tier is what we were in before we entered this regional stay at home order. This means that businesses, many businesses can once again now open outdoors, but there are still some restrictions. They do still have to follow all health guidelines. Now, let me give you a breakdown of what can and cannot open after this stay at home order was lifted. Personal care services can once again open for indoor services. That includes hair salons, barber shops, nail salons, and tattoo parlors. Restaurants, wineries, zoos, and aquariums can open outdoors only. One of the biggest changes this time around is that live entertainment is now allowed also outdoors. The list continues to include places of worship, gyms, movie theaters, museums, and playgrounds. Some things are partially open, like retail, which is maxed out at 25% indoor capacity. Schools will stay in distance learning if not already open in person. Bars and breweries must stay closed unless they serve food and operate as a restaurant. There are still no live audience sports and amusement parks are still closed. Uh, that is encouraging, uh, but we also want to keep our downward trajectory to get to, uh, to lower tiers so we continue uh, to encourage everyone to stay safe. Uh, let's stay open. Uh, we are moving in the right direction. Let's, let's try and stay on that direction and trajectory this time. And just to give you an idea of what it would take to get San Diego from the purple into the less restrictive red tier, our case rate would have to be 7.0 or below. And right now the county's case rate is at 49.6. So county officials saying there is still so much more to do 
before we can move into a less restrictive tier. Reporting live, Laura Acevedo, ABC 10 News. Laura, thank you. Some business owners in the county were caught off guard by today's news. We spoke with two who say it will be a few days before they can take advantage of the change. The owners of Point Loma Cesarina and the Gila Root Salons both say it's a matter of logistics. It's a big machine that we have to oil up again, get all the prep started. We're excited and we're wondering, like, did the numbers change that drastically? It just seems out of the blue, but we'll take it. Uh, under the purple tier, restaurants can serve outdoors only and salons can operate at limited capacity inside. Gyms must also remain outdoors only. Our numbers continue to move in the right direction. The county's 14 day rolling average for positive cases is now sitting just above 10%. It's been more than a month since they first crossed that threshold. And there were also about 1,400 new cases reported today. To date, nearly 230,000 San Diegans have been infected. As with past Mondays, there were no new deaths reported today. More than 2,300 San Diegans have died from this virus.